like a. We can do interns after the game, Mike. Just don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I like. I told them to wait, and then they were just like, "All right, I guess I'm gonna start now." So hold on. Whenever you go live. It's the match is live. Just patch up into it as much as possible, and then you totally forget this. All right, there you guys go. I, I see it. Hi folks! We're just hopping right into this one. Ape and Man versus Elijah Men here in Man's Quarter. Ape and Man right now with the Quarter. Another Quarter missing it though. Didn't grab the gyro, but nice back row with the gyro and dropping it. Ooh, he almost got that uh, clean edge guard there. Yeah, that was really good. Alright, throwing the gyro once again. Oh, up air coming out from Elijah Men. Oh shoot, he's getting those aer aerials off a lot. Yeah, now he has. Oh, go on. Um, now he has Buster, which will allow him to do more damage. Nice backer coming out. Oh, missing the second one, though. Nice shielding the projectiles, though. Yeah, even then, even then, still finding a way to get in with that gyro. A little bit of pressure down tilt. Oh, look at that. Can you imagine just, like, you think you have just one iota of uh, uh, room to escape there, and you roll right into Ape Man's trap. I know, right? Like, he... At, at that point, he like actually knows what you're going to do because there might be the possibility that maybe before he used to play Rob, he could have possibly gotten into those situations himself. Yeah, definitely with some kind of like experience playing. Uh, oh, look at this combo! <laughs> Doing the to down tilt. <laughs> I'm actually surprised he's built up that much damage from that gyro to down tilt. It's really, it's really good. Yeah, I mean, if it man is one of those vets who's maximized Rob's advantage state output, the Nair is gonna send him off the top. You, I mean, that's really impressive given how high the ceilings are for PS2. But right now, Lightman has quite the hill to climb. Yeah, you also gotta remember whenever uh, Shulk has any Monado except Shield, he is slightly lighter. Even with the smash art there, it, uh, was not able to take it and then stock here. Oh, but the counter coming through clutch. He's got the speed on right now. He's sitting at 42%. It's not looking too good for him since he only has one stock. He's trying to. He's got to close out the stock quickly. And when I say quickly, it has to be very fast. Oh, on that robo arms. Ape it man with the jump read to catch him with the rotor arms. Take that one. <laughs> That's got to be rough. Especially, you saw Elijah man just trying to swing <laughs> and trying to trade uh, blows there with Ape it man. But yeah. Man, uh, what did you see about uh, Ape Man's play there that uh, really characterized that game? Was there anything he was doing that really impressed you? Um, I, I actually really liked how he uh, used the gyro to his advantage, and he was able to put push Elijah Man uh, using the down tilts and just continuously not letting him escape. And he racked up a good about, I think it's 20 to 30 damage from that, which is really good. Yeah, especially like early, early percentage. Do you think we'll see a stage switch from Elijah Men? I the this matchup's hard because I think, you know, Schultz startup makes it so that Schultz can wind up with a relatively speaking linear game plan and Rob has the you know frame data to absolutely muck up that plan, but maybe a smaller stage might benefit Elijah Men. What do you think? Could possibly work, like maybe a stage like um Smashville, or I was also thinking uh, he could, f so since he is lighter, he could possibly go to Town and City if uh, Ape and Man tries to do like an up air. That high roof might save him. It does mean the, the rotor arm compost kill a little earlier, though. Oh, uh, yeah, that is true. It's hard to avoid. It's hard to avoid a good stage for Rob in this game. All right, we're going to go right back into it. Game number two between Ape Man and Elijah Men. Thank you all very much for joining us here on Mega Smash Mondays Online. And uh, we're really just right, getting right into it here, game number two in Winner's Quarters. All right, no, no stage switch, surprisingly. I actually thought they were going to stage switch. Uh, he has the, shield, uh, the speed Monada right now. Oh, he gets grabbed, though, uh, to the up air. Ape Man missing his forward air, though. Yeah, and uh, mainly why was Elijah Man was able to do the uh, Monado art switch to shield art, which changes Schultz's attributes enough to actually mess up the knockback combos. Yeah. Right, Elijah Man getting comboed right now with the up tilt to up air. 
Ooh, Ape Man missed oh. that other up air, but somehow the the robo arms missed. Yeah, the Lightning Man managed to fall out of the rotor arms right there. Yeah, that was really weird. Uh, honestly, <laughs> that that SCI was actually pretty perfect, though. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, that, there's no better uh, time to SDI out of that than probably that For time. Sure. Elijah Man right now is trying to withstand Ape Man's barrage. Uh, it feels like Ape Man's kind of got Elijah Man's number, but, you know, still holding on to this first stop. Let's see what Elijah Man can do here. He's trying to wail away with speed art fares. <laughs> yeah, as you can see what Elijah Man's doing right now, he's trying to keep Ape Man away using his long range, but that down throw to up air. Ooh, he switched to the shield mod right before that final hit got out to cause the knockback. A nice grab by Elijah Man, too. He got a chance to edge guard Ape Man here with the, the uh, Smash Art Fair. Oh, he swung again, almost got it. Still has a chance. Oh, he just, he just burned the rest of the Smash Art, but oh, that first didn't do it. When Rob grabs you right below that platform, and you just look up, it's like, oh no. The up throw is coming. Oh, nice order to close out that first stock. Elijah Man's doing really good right now. He's got a, a speed art as well. Ooh, uh, he's, he got that neutral air off uh, forward air. I mean, fourth throw, my bad. He's got his buster out so he can do more damage. Yeah, he's trying to make it so Ape Man can't even land. He's just kept him off stage right now for a good, like, half minute. So they can smash right now. Oh, he caught him rolling in! Dang, I mean, he he knew. He, like, he definitely knew that, that the back part of the uh, up smash was going to catch him. That was really good from Elijah Min's part. Yeah, Elijah Min's definitely started to wake up here, but you have to avoid Rob's just absolutely explosive advantage state here, especially in the hands of someone as capable as Ape-It Man. Oh, trying to get the gyro drop to catch Elijah Man going through the flat, but oh, Elijah Man going with the Hail Mary backslash, and now he's driving him across stage! Oh no! Just right, just enough uh, of a whiff there to fall right into the clutches of the Rob back here. Ape-It Man is now taking the lead. That was unfortunate. That was really unfortunate. He could have had that stock too, but nice downer coming out to protect the ledge. Yeah, I don't think uh, Ape, Ape Man could have possibly gotten around it, but then at the same time, we could pop, possibly forward him from that. Yeah, it's, it's all on you to capitalize on your opponent's mistakes, and Elijah Man did that right there to bring it back to even. The tense game number two. Oh, the air drift. Did you see that, Mighty Man? He made yeah, it. Oh, that. no! Oh, the ba the backslash, but that, I don't think that's gonna. Oh, he did that. <laughs> that was close. That that those backslashes are really risky. He's using the shield art now. Uh, that should help him for a little bit. Oh no, that's that, actually he got lucky that it just ran out like right after the grab. Using the grab and a back throw, getting him to 80%. Has the smash art out. Smash art out now. Oh, switching to the speed art. Ooh, very unfortunate there. Uh, Ape Man was able to fall through the stage and hit that forwarder. He does now have the jump art, so he's able to kind of stay away. But he has to be careful here because he is sli slightly lighter. Getting back with the backslash now. Oh, missing the grab though. Look at this pressure, Ape Man. It's just making it so Elijah Man can't even jump. Oh, got the grab. Get the ledge trap here. Uh, and Ape Man takes this guy to recover to plat. He just did a stall out the smash art. Very wise. Yeah, very smart move from Ape Man. But, I mean, also Elijah Man. Oh, I, th I thought he was going to change the shield, but. Oh, that neutral is going to catch him. Wow. That was unfortunate. Uh, in disadvantage, Elijah Man just wound up being put in such a bad position because, you know, Schultz's recovery, while it can be good at a range, if you go, you know, straight under, it can leave the situations like that. That's just unfortunate. Well played by.